What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to deal with math and chemistry questions, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In this video I have this trick equation which is 4 sine squared theta plus 4 cosine theta equals to 5. I want to solve it for theta between 0 and 2 pi. So let's start doing it. So the first thing I need to do here we have sine squared theta. Here I have cosine theta. I need to somehow convert this one to cosine. So we know sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is 1. So I'm gonna have 4. Instead of sine squared theta I will write 1 minus cosine squared theta plus 4 cosine theta equals to 5. Then I will expand this one. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times negative cosine is going to be negative 4 cosine squared theta plus 4 cosine theta. And I bring this 5 to the left hand side so it becomes negative 5. Now I start organizing it. So here I have negative 4 cosine squared theta plus 4 cosine theta and here I have 4 minus 5 will be negative 1 equals to 0. Now I want to solve it. Solve this. We have the quadratic equation. I want to solve it. Uh, I'm going to use AC method which I multiplied A and C. Negative 4 times negative 1 which will be positive 4. So then I will need to find out two numbers when you multiply it becomes 4 when you add them it becomes positive 4 so as you know it's going to be 2 and 2 that two numbers make 4 so then I will rearrange it here as negative 4 cosine squared theta plus 2 cosine theta plus 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0 so as you see here, instead of a trinomial equation, I wrote four terms here. So instead of four cosine theta, I put two cosine theta and two cosine theta. So I have negative four cosine squared theta plus two cosine theta plus two cosine theta minus one equals to zero. Now, I need to factor it here. The first part, we, the cosine is common and the 2 is common too. So I'm going to factor, let's factor negative 2 here. I'm going to factor negative 2. So it's going to be negative 2 cosine theta. So that will be 2 cosine theta minus 1. And here I have 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. Then I factor 2 cosine theta minus 1 and here I have negative 2 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. Now I need to solve it. So it's going to be 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0 or negative 2 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0 which is going to be the same thing. So we're going to have 1 answer only which is going to be cosine theta equals to 1 over 2. So for both of them cosine theta will be equal to 1 over 2. Now we are looking for the theta to be between 0 and 2 pi. So if you just remember the cast rule, we know cosine is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. When we are talking about pi over 3, or 60 degrees we have the first answer on the quadrant 1 and we need to find out the same answer in the quadrant 4 so in quadrant 1 we're gonna have 60 degrees or pi over 3 and in quadrant 4 we are looking for 2 pi minus pi over 3 2 pi minus pi over 3 is gonna be the answer so now I need to rearrange it 2 pi is gonna change to 6 pi over 3 minus pi over 3 which will be 5 pi over 3 or I can say that's going to be equal to 360 minus 60 is going to be 300 degrees 
So this is going to be the second answer. This one is the first answer. So one answer is going to be 60 degrees and 300 degrees. And if you report it in radian, it's going to be pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. So this is the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please like this video and you can share it with your friends. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can find out lots of videos regarding math and chemistry. I will leave related uh, videos and playlists in the description. So you, if you need extra help or an extra practical question, you can take a look to the description. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.